Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Borzy, and this is going to be a case for wired mice in 2024. They are back. The pendulum has swung, whether you like it or not. I know a lot of people are scoffing at this, holding their nose at the thought of using a mouse with a wire that does not disconnect. It is not just a charging cable, folks. Um, but yeah, this is not going to be a full review of the OP1 8K, but just the fact that I'm using a wired mouse and enjoying it so much, I feel like I just have to spread the word. And obviously there are going to be a lot of caveats to wire wired mice and wireless mice have taken over, taken the market by storm, but nothing is just going to be the consistency and performance of a wired mouse, especially one like the OP1 8K that is very well optimized. I feel like wired mice kind of died um, when companies like Vaxi and Zowie were just doing like meh mice with like shitty cables. Like just think of the Vaxi Outset AX wired. Like that's just not a good mouse. The Viper 8K from Razer was a horrible design. It kind of ruined the whole idea of like high polling rate wired mice. Um, so they had to make a good wireless implementation. True story. But yeah, as somebody who is in the same room as a router I just have all of these wireless mice connected my phone will be on my desk sometimes I feel like I have more experience with wireless interference and just fucking RF signal issues than most people and I can vouch that almost every one of these like Chinese 4k mice even almost every mouse besides Zowie Logitech and Razer um, I will just run into some occasional hiccups when using the mouse wirelessly and I'm not like a ultra competitive pro gamer where like I'm losing out on thousands of dollars because my fucking mouse signal drops but just using a perfect wired implementation, no, having the peace of mind, just knowing there's going to be absolutely no sensor related issues, it's just very nice. And I'm not going to lie, I truly don't feel the cable. And I've always been somebody who is just so snobby about cables. And this is a glass pad, so the mouse is going to move, but this is a pretty flexible cable. I remember in the past 8K cables used to have a ton of shielding and that would just make them like not flexible whatsoever. But this one, like I really just don't have a problem with it. I am obviously using a bungee. The cable is angled upwards. And yeah, I'm being honest. I really cannot feel any type of cable weight drag. Like this is one of the better wired mouse implementations I've tried and a wired mouse to be usable at this point in time, it is going to have to be like the best of the best. There's not going to be, you're not going to be allowed to make a shitty wired mouse and expect people to buy it. But I think for $75, you really can't go much better when it comes to just quality and performance. But yeah, I really do believe that if a wired mouse is executed perfectly, it still has a place in the market. Obviously, some people are just never going to go back to wired and that is understandable, especially if you are somebody who just doesn't really care too much about having like the best of the best feeling sensor implementation, click latency, all of that jazz, then yeah, you can compromise by using a top tier wireless mouse. It's not like there's going to be any real world difference 99% of the time. But yeah, after just going into this mouse with a clean slate and just loving it, I felt like I had to make a video um, saying that wired mice, it's not a dead art. There's still capabilities to make them good. Um, the whole like trend of 4K wireless, 8K wired mice, I think that's pretty dumb. Like I'm not gonna spend $130 on a wireless mouse to use it wired. Like, I'm sorry, I'm fucking not gonna do it. But $75 for a mouse that has essentially the specs of a $150 mouse, um, absolutely, that is something I can recommend. I will make a full review um, pretty soon comparing it to the standard OP1, which I do like it a lot more than, but yeah, wired mice. Let me know what you guys think. And yeah, this is not the first time I've recommended a wired mouse recently. The Death Adder V3 wired 8K um, is an incredible buy as well that I recommended. It doesn't really have as good of a cable in my opinion, but you can still manage it in a bungee. And it's just like, you get the good coating on this mouse compared to the wireless version at 150. Um, the quality, like the sidewalls are better. It's a lighter mouse. The sensor implementation is going to be on paper better. So it's just like, I don't know. I feel like these wired mice are being slept on because people just want the convenience of wireless and that does come at a more expensive cost. And if you really think like the fucking $40 Red Dragon 4K mouse is matching the performance of this, um, ignorance is bliss. And I guess that is, it's a blissful way to end the video. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I will have a full review out and some more content on this soon going over all of the other aspects. I just realized you can't you can't spin and flip a wired mouse. That is the one downfall, major downfall. Uh, but yeah, these are definitely my top two wired recommendations if you're looking for something with truly great um, performance under, like, I think both of these are under $80. I, you just can't beat that. And fucking, I mean, if you can deal with the wire, you can deal with anything in life. So it also does build up resilience and heart. But yeah, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. That's going to be all. Peace.